My name is Mary Holton. I'm here as a 32-year citizen of the state of Arizona. I'm a professor of mining engineering at the University of Arizona and director of the Lowell Institute for Mineral Resources. I have a background in hydrology, geophysics, sustainable resource development, in addition to law and public health. I'm here speaking as an informed citizen, not as an official of the university. I'm not a consultant to Florence Copper. I've not done research for the company. I have no financial stake in the company. In a previous career, I worked for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and got to sit on your side of the table and uh, got to appreciate uh, public hearings and, and when emotions run high. But at the end of the day, our regulatory decisions were based on best available science and engineering. I've been familiar with this copper deposit for nearly 30 years. We now have an opportunity for a 21st century approach to mining without large-scale surface disturbances. The research has gone into this uh, for many decades now. In-situ mining is technically feasible, and this deposit is perhaps the most perfect deposit for in-situ recovery. Engineers and geologists have studied this deposit for a long time, and the technology available to model and monitor solution flows is highly advanced. I know this because I've also started a technology company that has very advanced technologies to do this. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of successful projects around the world that control flow of solutions within well fields. Florence Copper Project is not about mining in the traditional sense, it's about control of subsurface solutions to extract copper. It can be a game changer to produce critical materials for this country in the most sustainable way possible. Sustainable resource development pillars are to balance environmental stewardship, social responsibility, economic growth, and good governance capacity. Mining converts natural capital to other forms of capital that allow the economic growth that we so desperately need in this state. The advantage of this copper deposit after the copper is extracted, that the site cannot just be reclaimed but restored to a higher value. This deposit can produce copper at the lowest cost, the lowest water use, the lowest energy use, and the lowest surface and subsurface impact. If we care about the environment, we have to seriously consider being able to use this deposit. From a technical and sustainability perspective, I strongly believe, based on my years of research and study, that this project is technically feasible, environmentally safe, and beneficial to this community. I have never spoken at a public hearing in support of a specific mining project, but I feel so strongly about the technical feasibility of this project that I couldn't sit quiet and let this information uh, be propagated.